All right, you guys, welcome back to This Is Your Life, and I am Queen Von Say, and today is October 17th, 2022, and I was just thinking about uh, doing a reading for Tia and Corey, so Tia from Sister Sister, also Tia from The Game, we all know who she is is um she's definitely been in the media as of lately regarding her and her husband Corey so I just wanted to like dive in and see what's really going on okay you guys so let's get started taking the gloves off taking the gloves off all right here we go so I think it would only be fitting to start off with these cards, more calm, less stress, okay? Because I'm pretty sure there's some stress going on right now. Okay, universe. Can I please just get one or two cards for Tia and Corey, please? Can I please just get one card for Tia and Corey regarding the current situation? Universe, can I please get one card for Tia and Corey? Ooh, these are regarding the current situation. That's three. Ah. Uh, mm. Okay, so the first card we got is stress is caused by being here but wanting to be there. Wow, okay. And then we have love and peace of mind do protect us they allow us to overcome the problem that lies hands hold on start over love and peace of mind do protect us they allow us to overcome the problems that life hands us they teaches us to survive to live now to have the courage to confront each day wow Wow, for T and Corey, that's pretty damn powerful, especially with everything that's going on right now for you guys. And then last but not least, there is also a heaven upon earth in our own breast. Do not seek it without, but within your heart. Oh, come on, you guys. <sighs> Man. What's really going on? Okay, universe, I'm going to definitely need your help on this one. I mean, I need your help all the time, but I'm going to definitely need it on this one. Please come through. Okay, universe. Okay, universe, can I please get some cards for Tia and Corey? Tia from the game, Tia from Sister Sister. Can I please get some cards for Tia and Corey regarding their current situation? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands in the reverse. Oh boy. Um, impulsiveness, ruthless, high expectations, haste, unachievable expectations. Oh gosh, that's what was at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, oh my God, this is a lot of cards. <sighs> This is a lot of cards. Oh, man. 
Come on, man. Why y'all do me like that? And they all, and they all is um <laughs> facing down. I can't see shit. I don't know what's going on. For all these cards to be facing down already, what I'm feeling is I'm thinking both parties could be blindsided or blind to to what was heading their way. I don't know. But for all these cars to come down like this, that like ain't now one of them. I can't see now one of them. That's a little different. All right, so this is how we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shit. Okay, well, let's just shit. I want to start down here. Okay, so we have the five of um swords in the reverse. Okay. And we have the strength in reverse. Okay. We have the knight of cups in the upright position. This is for Tia and Corey. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse for T and Corey. And we have the Seven of Wands in the upright position. We have the Nine of Wands in the upright position for T and Corey. And we have the Chariot in the reverse. We have the Six of Pentacles in the upright position. And we have the Lovers in the upright position. And last but not least, we have the Eight of Cups in the upright position. Aww. Aww. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <sighs> hmm. So we have air here, and we have fire here, and we have air and water here we have more air and we have more fire more fire and we have water cancer with the chariot and then we have um earth with this um six of pentacles and we have more air with the lovers and we have um more water with the eight of cups so <clears throat> shit hmm So, we have with the um, Five of Swords in the reverse, it says past resentment, desires to rekindle, making amends, desire to forgive. The next to it, we have the Strength card in reverse, and it says inner strength. Self-doubt, weakness, insecure, 
insecurities, low energy, raw emotions, struggle, pride. But then we have the cup, the Knight of Cups, creativity, romance, charm, beauty, shine, knight and shining armor, following the heart, Prince Charming. Hmm. Let's just one, two, three, four, five. Let's just. I just want to separate these for a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> with this card right here, stress is caused by being here but wanting to be there. And I can't really say who it is. Because, let me see, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. And then, where's that other one? Hmm. Hmm. So, damn. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to figure out is it is basically who fucked up. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Or who not necessarily who's to blame because it takes two people to work out a relationship. But Mhm. Mm I'm going to say this right here, this side over here, I'm going to say this is Corey. I'm going to say this is Corey on this side. And I'm going to say this is Tia on this side. So I'm going to say Corey is the, um, the five of swords and the major arcana being the lion, the lion being the strength card in the reverse, and the knight of cups in the upright position, and then the seventh of swords in the reverse, and then the seven of wands in the upright position. I'm thinking this is Corey right here, and the reason why I'm going with the fact that I'm saying that it's Corey is simply because with this knight of cups right here. This Knight of Cups, I feel like this is representing him. And the reason why I say that is because this is the third deacon in Libra, but it's the second deacon in Scorpio. And Corey is a Scorpio, okay? He's a Scorpio. So I feel like in the past, I feel like in the past, 
Because, yeah, yeah. Because, see, it says past resentment, desire to reconcile, making amends, desire to forgive. Like in the past, there could have been some things going on. What? I don't know. I don't know. But with this strength card being in reverse, inner strength, self-doubt, weakness, insecurity, low energy, raw emotion, struggle, pride, it's possible that for a quarry, like I don't really I don't really know too much about him and I don't know too much about her outside of her being on game and me watching her as a kid on sister sister. So I don't really know much about her, but what I do know is that she is possible that she could have been the the breadwinner. I don't really know what he does for a living or how he makes his money, but I'm feeling like there could have been some things he could have been feeling or he could have been going through in the past in a relationship regarding it could have been anything. But at the same time, it was hard for him to find possibly his place or find the courage to actually be the man, not saying that he wasn't being the man, but it was probably hard for him to find the strength that he needed being in a relationship with a person like Tia. And when I say a, a person like her, I'm not speaking on her character or anything like that because I don't know her. What I'm saying is her being a celebrity in the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? So it could have been times where Corey could have felt less than that. That's what I'm trying to say. He could have felt less than in the relationship. And with this, this strength card being in reverse, he probably just didn't feel like, you know, <sighs> he probably just didn't feel like he was getting the respect that he needed. And with these five of swords right here, past resentment and that could, could have probably made him feel some type of way but with this knight of cups right here in the upright position for quarry it's like creativity romance charm imagination beauty knight and armor following the heart he still decided to proceed you know he still decided to you know do what he needed to do moving forward like all of this as you can see this knight of cups his back is faced towards the past. His face towards the past, what had, had went through. So he was trying to move forward. <clears throat> and like I said, Corey is a Scorpio. And the Knight of Cups um, is, is a Scorpio card as well as an air. Um, it's a water as well, as well as air. Okay. And then we have the seven of um, swords in reverse, common clean, rethinking approach, deception, self-deceit, keeping secrets. So it's possible that he could have came clean regarding how he felt, or he could even came clean, you know what I'm saying, it, with some things that he probably had did in the past. I'm not for sure, but rethinking everything. And then it's like when he decided to come clean, it's possible that it became with this seven of wands right here. It's possible that it became a challenge. You know, it says challenge, competition, protection, preservation, preference and defense and maintaining control. So. It's possible when he did come clean and said what he had to say, it still was a challenge for him. It didn't necessarily work out the way that he thought it was going to work out moving forward, but he did try. He did try. Mm-hmm. 
He did try not knowing how it was going to go. He did try. And then right here, we have love and peace of mind. It do protect us. They allow us to overcome the problems that life hands us. They teach us to survive, to live now, to have the courage to confront each other. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He he probably did confront her, Tia. Corey probably did confront Tia and, and let her know how he was feeling. And it, I, it, it, it probably wasn't even um, a, a female involved in the situation it could just be letting her know you know what i'm saying i'm a man and i i want you to respect me as such it could have been like a situation like that because i don't really see like no interference like from um another woman or hell another guy <laughs> i don't see that i don't see that being an issue you know yeah, overcoming problems that life hands us. And I know it ain't been easy to have the courage to confront each day. Yeah. So then right here we have um, the nine of wands. It says courage, persistence, test of faith, um, boundaries, the last stand, guarding up for um, weary, like it's the test of faith. That's that's what stands out to me the most with this nine of wands right here. It's like the last stand, test of faith, and it's almost like It's almost like their faith is being tested, but I don't really know if they're going to overcome it at this point in time, especially because I don't know how long it's been going on, how long the situation at hand been going on. But courage and persistence, test of faith. This is the last stand to figure out what you guys going to do moving forward. And then right next to it, we have the chariot which is in the reverse position and the chariot is a water sign it's a water sign and it is represented by um cancer and tia is a cancer sign she, she's a cancer sign and it's in the reverse and it says self-discipline opposition lack of direction lack of control aggression arrogance, careless, carelessness. So it's possible that when this te test of faith came about and with Tia, with Tia being a cancer, are they both water signs? <laughs> with Tia, um, the chariot being the cancer, I think, um, and Tia's a cancer, I think she just really didn't know what to do moving forward. I think um, it says lack of direction, lack of control, um, arrogance, carelessness. So it's possible that Tia was like, you know what? I basically been doing this with or without you. I basically been doing this with you here, basically, and I can do it without you too and I think that's where the arrogance come in at like there's no self-discipline like I can only imagine <laughs> what could be and this is just what I'm getting but I can only imagine how that household could be ran how it could be just to live under that roof you know what I'm saying she could be a little arrogant and careless with the way that she make him feel. She could be. And then with this chariot right here with the chariot in reverse, we have um, the six. We have the six of pentacles, giving, receiving, sharing, generosity, charity. Yeah, it's like it's exactly what I said. Um, Tia may feel like 
I'm the one who's bringing in all the money. You can go. You you can do whatever it is that you want to do. I'm going to be straight regardless. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Movement, balance, healing. Oh, yeah. That's probably how she feel regarding the situation moving forward. I don't necessarily need you. I'm going to be good without you. But the crazy thing about it is the next card is the lovers. The next card is the lovers. And it says harmony, relationship, union, partnership, sexuality, passion, value, deep love, a choice, the strength of two together, of two together. So it's kind of like with this lovers being here, it's kind of like it could be either A, I'm good, Corey. I don't really need you. She could have found she could have found somebody else. She could have found somebody else. I'm not saying that's what it is, but she could have. Or it could be okay. Yes, you are my lover. Yes, we have. You know what I'm saying? But I have to walk away. I have to walk away with this this Eight of Cups being in the upright position, but. To be honest, that's not really what I'm getting. That's not really what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling is, what I'm feeling is, is, it's possible she may found somebody else, but it's not going to be what she think it is. That's what I'm getting. And the reason why I say that is because um, we have this King of Wands right here. And he's in the reverse. And it says impulsiveness, um, ruthless, high expectations, unachievable expectations. Yeah, I don't think whoever it is that she may be interested in, I don't think... I don't think he going to treat her the same way that Corey did. And I could be wrong, but I think this man really loved this girl, despite how she may have made him feel. I really think he loved her and I don't and still love her. And I don't think moving forward, she going to be happy. And that's just my opinion, though. I mean, We'll definitely have to see how it plays out in the future. Mm -hmm. Yep, and we got six here, and we got six here. Yeah, this you, Tia. This you all day, boo-boo. This is you. Mm-hmm. What does this say? There is also a heaven upon earth in our own breast. Do not seek it without, but within. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. She could be seeking. And it's right over here on her side. Tia could be seeking heaven on earth. Well, she could be seeking heaven upon earth. But it's like you have it, but you have to seek it within you, within your heart. So it's basically like go within Tia and see what is your heart saying, regardless of what the next person may say or feel about your relationship deep down inside. How do you feel? Is this really the end? Is this is this test of faith? Is, is this it? Have you have you done everything you feel that you can do in this relationship and there is no solving it? There, there's nothing else that can be done. Is that really how you truly feel? Or is it possible there's someone in your ear? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. 
let's see let's see what these cards have to say moving forward Um, universe, is there anything else that you want to say regarding this spread, regarding Tia and Corey and their current situation? Universe, is there anything you want to say regarding Tia and Corey and their situation? Tia from the game. Tia from sister, sister, and her husband, Corey. Uh-oh. Okay. I got one here. Uh -huh. Shit. Shit. I don't know if I should take those. Is there anything else? Universe? Oh, man. Wow. Oh. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. And that's crazy because on Tia's side, we have the Eight of Cups. <laughs> we have the Eight of Cups again. And all this shit right here, man. Man. Oh. Uh. Mm. Once again, Eight of Cups. At the bottom of this deck. Now, let's just see what we have here. Okay. 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 All right, so we got the Four of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. And we have the page of wands. And I think I think I'm gonna put them over here. And then we have the world. And then we have the ten of pentacles. And then we have the two of pentacles. Yeah. So <sighs> I think that's just more clarification whether it be good or bad I just think it's more clarification because like I said we have the world card right here and then we have the ten of pentacles right here on Tia's side and then we have the two of pentacles so for me it, it probably definitely was like, I, I I make all the money. You don't, you what you do is cool, you know what I'm saying? But I'm the one juggling all of this. I'm the one making everything happen. I mean, I do this. This my world. You just a squirrel trying to get a nut. You feel me? Like, that's probably how that whole household was. You feel me? <laughs> Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, poor Tink Tink. Poor Tink Tink. Oh, shit, I shouldn't say that. Okay, and then over here, we have the Four of Wands for Corey. And then we have the Two of Swords. And then we have the Page of Wands for Corey. And and it's it's just like I said, um, he wants, he want. I think he wants to make this work with her. I think he loves her still, and would try to do whatever it is that he needs to do moving forward. That's what I think. But we had this two of swords. And I think these, these two of swords was just when, you know what I'm saying, he really didn't know what to do at the time in the past. He didn't know. He was blinded. And remember, all these damn cars was blind. They was all facing down. He was probably blinded and didn't really know what to do. 
He had to make a decision, and his decision was to go ahead and move forward and do what he got to do for his relationship. And then we have this page of wands. You know, he was willing to move forward. He was willing to, you know, take a stand. He was willing to do that. Now, what the hell happened? Shit, we, we don't know. We may never know. Because cause we all just, you know, on the outside looking in. And it don't look too good, man. It don't. It look real shitty. Okay. Let's use these um, soulmate oracle cards. I just need two cards moving forward. For um, Tia and Corey, can I please just get two cards for Tia and Corey regarding this current situation? Can I please get two cards for Tia? There go one. And Corey regarding this situation. At the bottom of the deck, it says, please release your worries and receive universal abundance. Wow. Okay. What the hell is all of this shit? We got four cards that came out. The first one was, I have found the one that my soul loves. And that flew out on Corey's side. And the next one, it says, in the end, you try and you care. And sometimes that is enough. Wow. Wow. And that was also over here. Then the next card we have is all you need is. All you need is to believe in yourself. And I feel that's for you, Tia, because don't be worried and concerned about what everybody else thinks. Like I said before, what do you think, Tia? What do you believe? Okay. And then we have your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. So, Tia, it may be something that you want to pursue and you may feel like you can't or maybe you feel like you don't have the support. But any and everything that you have ever wanted moving forward, you done accomplished it. So I don't understand what the problem is now. What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference between now and then? Only you know that, not me. Okay, it's a whole lot of cars over here. Can we um get some angel answers for this here relationship for Tia and Corey moving forward? Universe, can we please get some cars for Tia and Corey moving moving? Damn. If you believe, that's what jumped out. If you believe, oh my God, I was my heart over here. Okay, can I get one more card? Can I get a card for Corey? Because I think that one was for Tia. Universe, do we have anything for Corey? Or is that for both of them? Universe, can we get a card for Corey? Universe. Universe, can I get a card for Corey? Oh, God damn it. I hate when they fall. Oh, I'll 
we want to bend over, Lord. <sighs> okay, so <clears throat> the card that jumped out at the bottom. God damn it! Sorry. At the bottom of it of the deck, it says, "Not the right timing." And y'all got to figure out what that means. I can say what I think it means, but I ain't finna go there. And then the one that came out, Corey, it simply says yes. Okay? It simply says yes. Then we have the Archangel Michael. And I like to use these cards just for protection over the um, relationship moving forward. So, Archangel Mother. Mother, mm -hmm. Archangel Michael, he don't play. It's a card that fell on the floor, but he gonna let you know what it is. And the one that fell on the floor was energy healing work. He gonna let you know what it is. And that's what he said. Not me. And he didn't take no time to say it. Is there anything else? You want Tia and Corey to know moving forward. Archangel Michael. Is there anything else? Okay. Okay. I think that's I think that's what he wanted you guys to know. Energy healing work. Okay, and last but not least, you guys, let's put one oracle card on there. All right, universe, moving forward, is there any last things you want Corey and Tia to know moving forward? As I close out this reading for Corey and Tia, is there any last things you want them to know? Shit. At the bottom of the deck, it says foundation and achievement. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Tia and Corey, foundation and achievement. Keep in mind what that foundation was built on and keep in mind the achievements that y'all have achieved so far. Oh, I like that. I really do. And at the bottom of the deck, I'm not the bottom of the deck, but um, these two cards that came out, number three, solar plexus chakra. Okay. And that's where this right here comes in. These two cards right here. Okay. And then you have transformation. Okay. It's time for a transformation. Whether that be left, whether that be right. Only time will tell. All right. So this has been a reading for Tia and Corey and this is their current situation and I am Queen Vonce and I'm out. <laughs>